there is no substitute of being honest to what you are doing. And dishonesty, if you ask me, shows through your work. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a very special guest, Mr. Baudhar Mukherjee, one of the country's leading independent filmmakers. He has directed and produced more than 600 TV commercials and helped creating many brands. His much acclaimed film for Unilever, The Shower, fetched him the national award at the 67th National Film Awards 2021. His directed movies, Tin Kahon and The Violin Player, have been screened at more than 85 film festivals across five continents. A very warm welcome, Mr. Bodhan Mukherjee. Thank you, Shangita. Thank you so much. It has always been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me over. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's my pleasure too. Bodhan, I would like to know, you know, you started your filmmaking journey at a very, very early age, right? What was that first trigger point that made you decide your future at such an early age? Uh, I think one of the things which we all Bengali kids have done in Kolkata is to have a feast on books when we were growing up. Thankfully, right. I belong to a generation when television was was not there. So late 70s, we did not have television. Uh, the only only thing that we fell back on was the radio and, and books, I mean, lots of books. Uh, one such book which fell into my lap was a book by Shotujit Rai. And I have to it's, it's wonderful that our, our conversation starts with him because I've always been a fanboy. So I belong to a generation of, of filmmakers who have been heavily, heavily influenced by Ray. So there is this book which, which fell into my lap, as I said, called A.K. Bollish Shooting. This is what shooting is all about. It's basically a collection of his writings, essays, on the behind-the-scenes stories of his children's films. So I was kind of familiar with his with his children's work, uh, the Golden Fortress, Shonar Kerala, Gupi Gain Bhagavain. Uh, so the moment I read it, it almost opened a opened a new new world in front of me, and I decided that if there's anything that I want to do in life, I would I would possibly make film. And ever since it has been, it has just been chasing that that one single desire which I've had. And I was I was then around what eleven years old. Oh, so yeah, it started That's very so early. You know, at eleven years old, I think most of our kids when I have been figuring out what to do in life. Maybe I had changed maybe 30, 40 different career options. <laughs> but that is, I think, the success formula, right? You had the vision right at such an early age. That's so inspiring. But again, if you if you look at, see, there, again, two sides of the coin. Uh, one definitely is that if you if you are focused very early on in life, you would do well. The other thing, which is also the reverse, is what Buzz Lurman had said in in his famous speech, which became a song called Sunscreen, which said that even at forty, a lot of people who have been very successful did not know what to do. So even even that is that is an absolutely acceptable scenario. So there is no honestly, Shungita, there is no uh, thumb rule of of this. What, whatever works for for an individual. I know. I think that the main thumb rule is that when you really want to achieve something, you go full heartedly, and everything else follows. So my my next question: You directed the Bell Bajao campaign for the breakthrough, which went on to win the prestigious Silver Lion Award at Cannes. And you also became the first Indian filmmaker to win two back-to-back -back show merits at New York and Spike's Asia Gold at Singapore. Mm -hmm. How do you stand out so differently among the crowd? Do I? Honestly, I, it's very difficult for me to say how do I stand out. It's for others. It's a perception. So it's about how others perceive me as a as ad filmmaker in the Indian advertising industry. But one thing which I can I can talk on is, uh, see, advertising uh, industry in India also typecasts. 
just the way in feature film there there are stereotypes and we type cast uh, the advertising industry type cast so there are there are categories of directors for example so there are some directors who are slotted so there are filmmakers who are slotted as uh, as as humor filmmaker don't ask me what that means uh performance <laughs> filmmaker right uh, filmmakers who who would do baby films well uh beauty and hair and automobile sports filmmaker and it it goes on it goes on and on i think one thing which i have tried to avoid i don't know how much i have been successful is i have tried not to be slotted which basically means that i wanted to do different types of work and that uh is possibly not having a style itself became a style i absolutely enjoy doing psa which is public service announcement and i absolutely love him uh, so apart from doing proper brand work and as i keep telling everyone that you have i've done enough of biscuits and shampoos and sanitary napkins so <laughs> it's also important to do public service announcements because it just makes you feel a better human being and Absolutely. that that kind of drives me in doing what i do so yeah if that sets me apart why not i i think i've seen couple of your ad film you have directed some amazing ad film for all the biggest brand like the procter and gamble in deliver uh, johnson and johnson and really it stood out even everything you have done there is a very powerful message in it i think that you very rightly articulated both him that you know no but again what, uh, but shungita it's it's very simple apart from knowing the craft of film making i think which i think i hold at very high esteem because uh, without craft you are a non entity whether it's a 30 second film which is what what we do whether it's a two and a half hour long feature or whether it's a documentary i think your your craft of film making is very very important and there there's absolutely no no compromise with that along with craft i think the other thing which comes which is very dear to my heart is honesty i think there is no substitute of being honest to what you are doing and this honesty if you ask me shows through your work Absolutely. There, there are enough films which which are terrible films I have done in advertising. Honestly, absolutely terrible work. Which is one of the terrible films? If you can let us know. <laughs> Oops. I want to. I'll, I'll let everyone else to decide. Uh, <laughs> so, so what happens is that, uh, so even in those, I think my my mantra is very simple. At night when I go to sleep, I would have to ask myself that, did I do? the best that that i could do if the answer is yes i would possibly have done it honestly if the answer is no then then you are not doing something something correct so that is something i avoid so everything you do in life in in terms of film making the craft of it there has to be an honesty because for me work is worship so if i am dishonest in in the work itself then no no I'll, I think no, nobody no. could have put it better than you, uh, Bodhan. It is the honesty which kind of pours into a work, which mingles with this brilliant craftsmanship which you bring to the table. I think that becomes very rare, and that makes you who you are. On that note, thank you for sharing the secret. You know, this this really a powerful message which you given it out to the world. It is the honesty and giving your best shot every day that that made you that yeah, made yeah. you stand out. For, for us, Shungita. and i keep telling my team also you are as good or bad as your last film absolutely so every single work that you do you have to tell yourself this is possibly the last thing that i am doing and if it is bad then that is that is your latest work and that absolutely. is that is what goes out for the world to see and absolutely. yeah you know that's what i've seen in you always you have been keep on challenging your own status quo constantly trying to become better version of yourself every day and that something i am very proud of you know knowing a friend like you who's been really bringing such wonderful film in the in the world today on that note my next question during the lockdown 
i remember you mentioned somewhere that you crafted more than 60 odd ad film for the top brand style people are fighting literally what to do what to do and that everything what you did i think uh, you did it within first of the films you did it within your home so i also read that you were the first in the country to make an ad from home right i don't know which ad was that would like to know about this i want to know how did you make this happen and can you give a little more details to my audience who really want to create something from sitting at home how do you make that happen in in reality well i have to also with this question i have to give out some tricks of the trade which uh, yeah which is fine because right now we are into a second lockdown and the and the two lockdowns are very different the way we approach filmmaking in the first lockdown was very very different from how we are approaching now so uh, the film that you spoke of shungita was the the unilever stand with nation uh, film which we did on the 21st of march uh, yes we were the first production house in the country little lamb films which is my production house we were the first in the country to do a film from home on the 21st of march we were approached on the 21st and the film released on the 22nd so it we actually had a turnaround time of one day uh within that uh, we we delivered a film in a 45 second or something like that with user generated footage see whenever there's a lockdown happens shoot becomes troublesome because a shoot as you know you have shot yourself uh, a shoot involves a lot of people and a shoot also means there's there's different departments and there's camera and and lights and makeup and hair now without all of these how do you shoot so one very interesting thing which happened in indian advertising is that all creative directors who were writers they understood the limitations and they started writing scripts based on the limitations that we have that we cannot have a helicopter shot right now we cannot go to a foreign exotic locale to shoot so everything had to happen from home so initially we had user generated footage we used to call up people and tell them okay you have a you have a phone this is what i want will you shoot and 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 send it to us and agencies were also not very picky then i think we all we all accepted that these are trying times and that's how we started making films post production sangeeta was never a problem because post production people had offline setups at home they were doing editing at home color correction at home music voice over everything was happening at home so post production was never a problem shoot was a problem so we came up with this incredible database and that's something which i have to also credit my my team at little lambs for that we were slightly ahead of 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 times is that by the time lockdown began we had a list of of dops cameramen who has cameras at home and also as an actor or an actress living in the same apartment if we if we had a actor dop couple living together uh, was was amazing so from a phone we graduated to a dslr camera and when the lockdown eased a bit what we did was we started sending out slightly bigger cameras to the person's home and they would shoot so that's that's how so it's all about all about the database that we had and this database was not only restricted to bombay we had a similar database in chennai kolkata uh, goa a lot of films were being shot in goa then because it was slightly relaxed uh we did around 50 it's not 60 by the way we did around around 50 commercials for over 6 months uh, no one of us none of us stepped out of our home imagine me sitting uh, in my bedroom or my living room and directing actors through through zoom calls again what what is very interesting is you will have situations in life when when chips are down but what 
what humans have shown is also this tremendous power to adapt and faced with this with this strange times how do you make the best of it this adaptability of human beings have been astounding and i've i've been i've i can only bow in respect uh to to every one of us who have who have worked tirelessly in spite of chips being down and that has been the biggest learning for all of us i think hats off to the entire crew who have really kind of crafted that 58 odd ad commercial during this time and as very well articulated you know it is people used to say earlier that you know it is survival of the fittest but today's era it is survival of the most adaptable and that is the point you brought out so beautifully that how adaptable you are no matter whatever situation is thrown to you and then embrace that and then give your best thing see look at the now tell me one thing about them that out of this 58 odd film which you have shot shot during sitting at your home what has been the most dear one to you i think there was one which which we did for red label okay uh it was a film which had the the celebrated marathi actress anal kulkarni so it was a film which very interestingly was shot in mrinal kulkarni's house in pune it featured mrinal kulkarni and and her husband and was shot by the sun wow so we just we just <laughs> we just sent the camera it was a very interesting film so it was a film about uh about a neighbor who had covid who comes back from the hospital and how the husband reacts and mrinal kulkarni takes a cup of tea and walks over and keeps it uh at at his doorstep and because red label has always stood for the taste of togetherness and i thought it was a lovely concept and it was it was an extremely challenging one because i was directing over whatsapp calls right right and for voice notes and the, the camera lighting makeup minal kulkarni did her own costume her own makeup i think it was we i think we have stories that we will fondly tell uh, our next generation that aise bhi film hota tha ek zamane mein absolutely absolutely that's such a such a touching story in fact you know that's what ladies and gentlemen and all my audience a lot of people came back to me after i circulated the poster in the media saying that you know what is that one message you want to give it out to the young filmmaker you know who are try to make a difference who's trying to kind of come back with something meaningful and they are lost so i actually got a very before joining the call one message came to me can you please ask that question i said sure i'll make sure i ask that what is that one message you want to give it to the young filmmaker of the country to begin with the moment a question is asked like that you suddenly realize that you are getting old uh, which is which is one side of the coin Uh, but yes uh, if i am asked to say something i would always say that the mantra which i have followed in life that you only live once and uh, if if you are passionate about something don't make it into a hobby make your life around the passion that's when life improves the passion improves. so yeah that's that's it i said i i i would say I wanted to ask you one very interesting question, which has been going in my mind. You know, I remember recently you won national award for the best promotional film under non-feature film category, and that also happens to be the first time in the country. On I think twenty second of March this year, twenty twenty one, you directed yeah, yeah a Universe uh, ad film called Shower. Good. Shower was back this you know which helped you backing this prestigious national award. how different was shower uh shower incidentally as you rightly said became the first indian advertisement ever to win win a national award now shower <clears throat> has been very very close to my heart i i consider myself to be the mother of all the films that that i have done so if i am i i i am the mother of my films it's very difficult to 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 be partial to to a particular film but if you ask me i am partial about shah because shah is one such psa which i have done 
it has actually managed to change lives and sankita as as a storyteller as a communicator i think what we all intend to do is to touch lives of people who who would be watching your piece of communication now i'll give you a very interesting example which i have also given elsewhere is that how shard actually change change lives uh, one of my neighbor in my building met me at the elevator and said that from from then on his house will only have bucket baths they had gone out and bought buckets for every family member and that's when suddenly it dawned upon me that this is what the film is doing the film is actually changing lives it's changing human behavior and honestly if you ask me a uh, one one 90 minute 90 second film managing to change human behavior doesn't happen all the time and through all of this if the consumption of water came down i think we would we would possibly say that we have done a decent enough job i think this is one of the best film i have seen myself you know after that i showed that film to everybody in the family and in my friend circle especially the little ones and all the little ones of my son's school they decided mamma from tomorrow i will not take shower from the shower i'll take a bucket and mug and i'll ensure wow. everybody has water so that credit is immensely goes to you you know that's so this is it's very ones. very heartwarming very hard yeah, that that's something you know one shower can fit so many stomach that was that was such a powerful message in less than maybe one one and a half minute that was like really touched me and i still get goosebumps <laughs> okay thanks on that note uh, abodhan i want to know your film like you have directed already teen kahan you have directed on you know uh, the violin player which is on the netflix uh, this have kind of gone to 55 plus awards across 86 film festival in over five continent what was that one moment you want to highlight across so many accomplishment which stood out for you this is a difficult one <laughs> because there's so many moments with with every single film with teen kahun with the violin player this one thing which which is absolutely top of mind is the world premiere of teen kahun and this is a very interesting story should be uh so teen kahun's world premiere happened in kosovo now kosovo is a country which was war ravaged and without a film i don't think i would have ever visited kosovo so we went to kosovo with teen kahun there's a film festival called the bridge film festival which was happening in a in the kosovar city called mitrovica now mitrovica had two two parts one one was the serbian mitrovica in in serbia the other was the kosovar mitrovica and there's a river which separated the two mitrovicas uh the river is called ibar yeah ibar now next to so on on that river ibar there is a bridge which connects kosovo mitrovica serbian mitrovica and that bridge had actually witnessed the one of the worst bloodiest battles in modern european history ever since the war war broke out in in kosovo so what happened later is that once the war ended this bridge was blocked and the you, you could not you could not take cars from kosovo to serbia but you could walk across and for for 24 hours there there's the international peacekeeping force who was manning and guarding the bridge and on this on on this bridge and they held the first film festival in kosovo in some 20 years called the bridge film festival now there was this culture center next to the river ibar which reopened with this film festival after 15 years of war and tinkahun was played and it still gives gives me goosebumps is that in a in in mitrovica in i suddenly 
saw that I'm surrounded by people who do not follow Bangla, but they followed the language of humanity. So we were with with delegates and filmmakers all over the world who had come in. And there was the international peacekeeping force who were watching the film with us. And some of them became Mona's, uh, my wife, who is also my my producer, Mona's very dear friends. She's she is possibly still in touch with some of them. So watching a watching a Bengali film and forget Bengali film, watching an Indian film, in that we, we were the only Indian film there, in in Kosovo with with international peacekeeping force. I think it it suddenly told told me that there is there is this tremendous power of cinema which can actually bridge gaps so very interestingly we also crossed over to the serbian mitrovica the entire film festival delegates were taken to the other side and we obviously saw a huge huge disparity in in the serbian life and the and the kosovar life and with us i remember the the projectionist of 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 that film festival desimi i think yeah he crossed over on the other side for the first time in 15 years and he went to his house he was actually from the other side he went to his house we all went with him realized that his house has been it's in ruins he he fell on the ground started howling and crying and we we just stood there as mute spectators and we realize that at least cinema has given him an opportunity to to cross over that still remains one of the fondest memories of of our travel with with inkahon and the violin player that's that's such a heart touching story my god you know it does you know cinema brings out one of the you know we connect with our with a subconscious level you know certain movies have given us a total people have changed perspective people have changed the way people look at things i think cinema is one of the very strong career of human emotion which can connect a lot of you know gaps and that is the biggest example you have given through teen kahan i have seen teen kahan it was outstanding outstanding as your first Thank film you. and Thank violent you. player also stood out so ladies and gentlemen who hasn't seen yet Uh, Tin Kahan is an Amazon Prime you must watch today and Violin Player in Netflix I'm telling you I could guarantee you those two film has totally changed my perspective my vision and the way I have th- looked at things and you know every film about you is such powerful message while we are on live there is somebody has messaged me on FB live that uh another Sangeeta Bhattacharya ji uh she mentioned uh want to know what keeps bodhan motivated all the time so this is this live question for my audience what does it keep motivated you all the time i think uh to constantly keep beating you in the game that you are in i think if i ever feel that well i've done it then possibly i've had it so it it is very important not to be satisfied and move on move on and and create something better and possibly in the future create something even more uh so i it, it's all about the game you are playing with yourself so for me it is how do i constantly keep upping the game Um, I think that's that's very well said. You know, constantly challenging one's status quo, constantly keep striving to do better, constantly by being a little bit better version of yourself day by day, and constantly keep thinking what more and how better, and never being sort of satisfied what you have done. Keep creating more, keep innovating more, and keep giving your best effort. I think that's what the message Bodhan gave. Thank you so much on that note, uh, Bodhan. I always ask this one question in. all my guest who comes to my show is that you know you've been so successful and still you are kind of striving so many amazing films to the audience what has been your success sutra or i can say what has been the success formula for you 
I would say uh, there is there is actual actually no shortcut to, to success. Absolutely no no shortcut. Uh, work is worship, as I told you. I have had enough enough uh, things at home where my wife, my daughter, my mom have said that don't you have any other life apart from the work that you do. I think that's a choice that one makes in life is that uh, what, 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 at the end of it, what do you want to do in life? Uh, for me, I want to be remembered as a, as, a, as a storyteller. And for that, whatever it takes, I will do it. And one day I realized my daughter has suddenly grown up. I think that's the price that one pays. But there is there is no shortcut. There is actually no shortcut. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a secret formula. There is no shortcut to success. It is the hard work, passion, innovation, constant drive which keeps you driving. And that's what actually brings you success. Thank you so much. I had such wonderful question answer session. Uh, Bodhar, I have generally we have first uh, half an hour a few questions, then we have a rapid fire round, and then we have a one word yeah. answer. So, are we game to go on a rapid fire round now? I am terrible with all of these. Let me tell you because I <laughs> I stutter and stammer and think. So, but anyway, let's let's play this. We'll, okay. we'll see. We try to make it rapid. If not possible, is okay. If it yeah. makes you think a little bit, what has been your most treasured moment in life? Ah, the moment I became a father, the first time I held Vitushki in my hand, she was 45 minutes old and I knew that my life will never be the same again. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Tushki has been what? 13 years now? He's 17 now. Wow. She's a great singer as well. I've been seeing yeah. her YouTube channel and all fabulous work she has done. But it's such a young, young girl. Wishing her all the best. Okay, my mm. next question. <laughs> this is a little tricky one. What has been the most embarrassing moment for you? Oops. <laughs> Embarrassing. There's, there's enough. There's plenty of embarrassing moments. And Which one uh, you want to forget? No, I, I in my childhood I used to, I used to stammer a lot. It was kind of a kind of a family thing. And I remember with people who stammer also stammer on certain stutter on, on certain certain alphabets. Right. I actually used to stutter on B. And that's how my name used to start. So, so whenever people used to ask me my name, I used to run. Oh my God. <laughs> but, uh, and I remember this once in, in school, people were being introduced. So the new, new, new teacher and we, we went to a new, new section and new, new class. And then new class teacher said, okay, one by one, introduce yourselves. I shat in my pants. Uh, and I remember I stood up and I was was speechless because and everyone started looking at me and everyone said, have you forgotten your name? That still possibly is one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. But again, I think everything. But the, but the way you've come out, you never at all had any trace of the childhood stammering issue because... No. You have been I, one of the most finest speaker I have seen in my circle, at least, you know, you, your articulation, your punctuation, everything is so like perfect in every way. No, so this is something which I also uh, studied and researched is that stuttering and stammering is also a question of a lack of confidence in you. When you are not, not too sure of yourself, the more I became confident, and the more I felt secure, I realized that that was becoming a thing of the past. And yeah, today, really that's a powerful the lesson, you know, powerful lesson. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, a lot of people I know who are stammering, I think that's the start from in internal dialogue with yourself that, you know, how confident I am. I think that's the way people have come out and then a big and one of the biggest speaker, you know, that's Bodhan is a true replica. Thanks for sharing that, Bodhan. Really, really no, appreciate pleasure. Anything yeah, yeah. that, that I think there are enough, enough uh, people out there with similar problem. And if it helps anyone, why not? 
what are the books generally you would want to recommend those people to read like what has helped you to kind of you did a lot of research right is there any book which kind of helped you to figure not, out that not really i was also speaking to a lot of doctors and and friends who used to stammer and and this was this was very early on this was i had possibly just joined my first job in kolkata uh, is when i was actually going through all of this so that was long 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 time back and the way you have come out being the world figure right oh my god hats off thank you so much for sharing that story uh, what is the i know this is a little tricky one to ask a movie director film director but uh, it's got to be a little difficult for you to answer but still i would like to know apart from your movie what is the best movie you have ever seen which you want to recommend our audience no it, it's very difficult to comment on one because if you have if i have to tell you my favorite films it will be a possibly a list of 50 uh, so i okay, don't think okay list of 5 you can give then i can tell you filmmakers who have influenced me a lot sure why don't you share the name of the film so uh, obviously shotojit rai by now everyone knows that i have been a fanboy and his i have been heavily heavily influenced by him uh, the danish filmmaker uh, lars von trier who is extremely courageous and i and i absolutely love him the polish filmmaker krzysztof kislowski who has been one of one of those legends uh i love slow cinema so i also like the hungarian filmmaker bela ta and the iranian filmmaker abbas kiorostami i absolutely adore him and oh my god you know quite a few so, filmmaker film i have myself not seen can you just give one one name of each of the filmmaker which you think people should watch uh shotujit rai for me one of my most favorite film is is the big city mohanobo which i feel is absolutely stunning last one last one trier breaking the waves is my favorite he yeah, are dogville also uh kislowski three colors blue is my favorite so he made a film uh with the three colors of the french national flag and what what each color stands for red blue and white so that that trilogy is very very interesting on should watch belatar i personally love satan tango it's a it's, it's a long film it's a 7 hour long film so one one is extremely patient to watch a film like that kirostami taste of cherry any day i i, I watch it i could watch it 100 times over the next 100 days yeah so these are these are just names i think names of one film if you want to delve deeper into each one of them pick I, the best way to go about is to pick one director and watch his all the films in his filmography then Absolutely. you will start getting a a journey of a filmmaker from where he started and from where where, where i just watched. made a note of all of this i'll ensure you know i'll start watching because many of them i have not watched what you have mentioned okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much. Uh, next one. Your favorite actor and favorite actress. Actress Juliette Binoche. Uh, favorite actor. Actor. Difficult choice. Whatever comes to your mind. Ritik Chok. Ritik Chakraborty. Of course, he has. I, I've seen his film. <laughs> no doubt, he's really powerful. Uh, tell me. Uh, I know uh, this is going to be again a little tricky one. I want to know top three actress as per Bollywood, in your eyes. Bollywood. Or top three or top again, five. No, I think. See, my. way of looking at bollywood is very different because i am an independent filmmaker so for yeah. me for me uh bollywood has done more harm than good in terms of film appreciation in this in this country so uh, it's very difficult for me to pick bollywood act- actresses but if i have to then i will say konkona shen sharma is one of my very very favorite uh, ac- actresses uh, tilottama shom is is one Tonishtha Chatterjee is is another who is, is fabulous. Uh, who else? 
I'll I'll have to actually think. I know, on, I know, but, but yeah, yeah, all of them are powerful. Of course, Kankana's movie I've seen, and I personally been very moved. Our acting is very very powerful. Tell me, I know you are an independent filmmaker, but if I want you to define Indian film in three words, what are the three adjectives you will give it to me? Indian film overall. Tricky, I know, but still. I think headless. one promising the other and mediocre headless promising and mediocre yeah <laughs> i like the one first one and third one promising yes of course is a lot of lot of you know there's a lot of talent and there's a lot can happen of course I but as of now if you ask me it's extremely mediocre yeah it is a lot of dramatization a lot of you know colored combination and yeah a lot of strong messages still need to come out i think that's that's there last two question on my rapid fire round before we go to the one word answer favorite most activity apart from making movie i love to eat oh you what's the i can then i can spend the rest of my life if i'm not doing anything else eating yeah. i'm least bothered about the weight that i put on <laughs> but i can go on eating Things. Life is hard. You, you should enjoy yeah, yeah. what makes you feel happy. So, Mona loves to cook. Mona, no, Mona does cook, but I have Madhuvi at my home <laughs> in Bombay, who is an who is an excellent cook. So I should come And down next time. Of course, please. <laughs> Any time you are in Bombay, you are absolutely welcome. What's your favorite food? Okay, biryani. I mean, oh. There's there's no. But but the Calcutta biryani, by the way, very very important. Calcutta biryani with aloo, right? Not chicken, no. Cook... I mutton biryani. Calcutta mutton, mutton biryani is something which I can have for the rest of my life. I know. Yeah. Same here, and I love that too as well. Okay, what's your favorite song? There are so many of them, but pick one which you like to. We generally listen to aloo. Lag ja gale ki phir ye hasi raat hona. Uh-huh. Why don't you sing it for the audience? No, no. I know you have a great voice too. No, no, no. Absolutely, no, no. Let's let's not embarrass ourselves. In the next interview, I'll have to take this as my most embarrassing moment. <laughs> so let's let's avoid that. Uh, I I know you have a great voice, but if you want to avoid it, it's okay. We'll park it for time being. Thank you so much. You have done fantastic on the rapid fire round, <laughs> which was a important question, and you really like stood out. I've been thoroughly enjoying the conversation. This is the last section of my interview, which is that mm-hmm. one-word answer, or you know, you have to choose between two, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Um, simple. It's like but, it's like coffee with Karan, is it? Ah, uh, some portion has been taken from coffee with Karan. Some portion is my brain child. Some portion is a mix of <laughs> man. What I like doing, I'm doing that. You know, book or a movie. Movie. Okay. Tea or coffee. None. Uh, I don't take tea. I don't take tea or coffee. So. Very good habit. Chat or a phone call. Chat. I'm not a phone call person. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you know, if you have to catch hold of the famous director Bhavan Mukherjee, it is the chat. Please don't call him. <laughs> okay, work in the garden or a glass of wine. I don't drink. Oh, you don't drink tea, coffee, so, wine, nothing. Lovely. Uh, good so time. I don't. I don't even have cigarettes. So hence I eat. That's what I told you. Okay. And so I compensate everything, and I keep eating. Uh, always, of obviously, then, then. Right. Mountain or ocean? Walking. Mountain. Sun-kissed morning or rain-soaked afternoon? Sun-kissed morning. That's beautiful. Bollywood or Hollywood? None. None. Okay. I I park the question. We already got that answer before. Calcutta or Mumbai? Calcutta. Okay. Though I'm a Mumbaiker, Mumbaiker for the last last twenty years now. Of course, root is there. Calcutta. Any. This is a very tricky one, and I have to choose. Very very tricky. Arsha or Mona? <laughs> Oops. I choose myself. It's safe. <laughs> no no. These are. This is a very difficult question, and it's a very unfair question, Sangeeta. I have to tell you, very, very I unfair. I was close to question. that question. I had to answer. <laughs> I didn't have an option, but still, I had to answer. So, if I insist, you, what would you choose? No, nah, this will be civil war at home. 
I refuse to fall for this. Oh my God, that's a good one. Okay, of course both. You cannot separate both. Are like two, you know, two wonder women of your life. And you know, people say for every successful man there is a woman, and there are two women you have. A daughter and, and a no, I also have my mother, so they're technically three. Three women, right? How is your mother is in Calcutta right now? Mom, yeah, my sister. Yeah, she, she, she's she's. Yeah, yeah, she's good. Good to know. Now that you know, almost to the last, come to the last end of my, uh, you know, interview. One question, you know, which is the burning point right now today is that COVID crisis is really making all of us worried. A lot of lives are being lost. Uh, a lot of meals and dear ones we have lost. We've seen a lot of difficult situation. People are going through a mental trauma. People are going through, you know, the number of divorces are increased. Number of, you know. number of pain has increased they don't know what to do what is that message you want to give it out to the world to battle this tough time no i think i i don't think i qualify to give a message here because uh i can only talk from my experience and and my surrounding and honestly people should not take my advice seriously but uh there there's this famous line which tagore had written मेघ देखे क्यों करिस ने भय आड़ाले सूर्य हासि सो इन इफ आई ट्रांसलेट दिस इट बेसिकली इज दैट डोट गेट स्केड लुकिंग एट द क्लाउड्स बिकॉज बियॉन्ड इट इज द सन शाइनिंग नाउ दैट हैज ऑलवेज बीन माय माय मंत्र वेन एवर आई हैव आई हैव हैड माय बैक अगेंस्ट द वॉल दैट दिस टू शैल पास so just hang in there we have to hang in there we cannot give up i think that's constantly i keep telling everyone around me including myself that hang in there and the sun will shine of course that's that's such a powerful one you know i i really love that you know you brought tagore here i remember reading that and every childhood moment whenever the any small failure had hit me I used to go up on the rooftop and read that thing. Make the hikyo kodishne boy. Aralita shoots you ashe. Thank you so much on that note. I I really enjoyed this conversation. It's been a very powerful episode. You brought an amazing story in such short, you know, lines. Thank you for sharing your life journey. Thank you for sharing your embarrassing moment. Thank you for being you and thank you for really coming to my show, accepting my request because you have been a media figure. You have been a public person. I've seen your interview across the leading dailies of the country, leading journal. Still, as a friend of yours, and I approached you, you did not shy away. You said, "I am in." No, there's that no reason. About... There's no way I could have said no to you, Sumita. <laughs> you know that. No, no, no. That that talks about the volume of you as a human, you know, being the kindness, the gesture, the you know, the person you are. That talks a lot of about you. Thank you so much, Bhutan. It Thank was you, always a pleasure knowing you, and today we got to know you more. and uh, i hope to do many more episodes with you in future and wishing you all the very best for upcoming upcoming films and keep giving the most wonderful you know stories which we have ever seen you've already done wonderful series and episodes and stories you have moved so many lives and we are we are waiting to see many more such creative stories to come out which will actually change the world tomorrow thank you on thank that you. note thank you thank you so much and all the best to success sutra with sangeeta let it go from from strength to strength thank you so and much and yes i would love to come back in some time in the future absolutely so, pleasure having you thank you audience thank you. thanks for joining in we'll come back with many more powerful stories and upcoming shows stay tuned till then bye bye Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that next time you get notified whenever I upload the next video. Thank you.